How's it going, everyone? Um, no introduction or no shilling my uh, eBay business. Um, I want to offer you guys a little bit of an update as to um, what transpired today. As you know, recently I have um, admitted to all of you that I've had a problem with... Um, Drinking just a little too much. And uh, letting myself fall at the wayside. But uh, today I began a very difficult journey, which I had spoken to um, a therapist, which thank God the 9-11 uh, program does offer... Um, therapists and stuff that I, I'm taking full advantage of and I can tell you that today uh, was a very big step for me um, a lot of things have um, a lot of things were said today that um, I just I was not expecting to say It, it was more difficult than what I thought. And um, I can tell you right now I'm in a very um, difficult place because, you know, some of the things that I discussed with the therapist today, um, I've really kept bottled up inside for a long, long time. And um, this is just the beginning. I have to see him again Tuesday. Um, through the 9-11 uh, program, um, which I spoke to a representative, um, this therapist is going to refer me, hopefully, to an outpatient to manage what's been happening with me um, drinking as much as I have recently. And uh, I've got some resources that I'm going to utilize starting Monday to um, turn all this around. You know, basically what he did today was put the mirror right in front of me and put, put it on the table, you know, metaphorically and said, you have to basically pick it up and take a look at yourself. And I did, and I didn't like what I saw. This is by far one of the most difficult times I've ever had in my life because I've never faced um, a lot of the things that uh, were discussed today. And um, I don't know if the analogy makes any sense, but it's like taking an onion and peeling the skin off and, or even a cantaloupe or something like that. Pick whatever fruit or melon you want. And usually there's like dirt and... Um, bruising or pits or whatever may have you and um, when you finally get into the inside of the fruit that's where you really see what's on the inside you know and um, it seems there are a lot of things that I haven't faced or haven't dealt with you know one of the most recent ones for example is that my father is in a, in a facility right now um, and out of nowhere, like I just, I haven't spoke to my sister in quite a few years and we finally talked about things and that kind of helped, you know, because to me, family is more important than anything, you know, she was the last one that I haven't spoken to in many years and we finally talked for the first time on the phone and we were on the phone for probably like an hour or two something like that and um,
and trying to like lick our wounds. You know, and say none of, none of this fighting amongst ourselves is worth it. And that was huge for me. But, you know, there's still a lot of things with me, especially after what I discussed today. I'm not going to get into the dynamics of what it was I talked about, but this is just the beginning. You know, I'm very proud, at least, to say, you know, that New York, North Carolina has finally recognized me as a small business now that I'm an LLC that I can finally, like, rid myself of this. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Ever since I lost my career back in 2011, it's been awful trying to find myself again. You know, I, I come from a blue-collar family. My father got me into union construction. You know, all, all of the men in my family are blue-collar workers in some form or another, union or otherwise. And because of the health issues I dealt with because of being at that World Trade Center site, I had, to, I had to hang it up in 2011. I had to go to court and fight for myself. And, you know, um, a lot of things were taken from me throughout my life. Over, And I've never dealt with those issues. I've kind of like swept it under the rug until today. I, you know, and I, I there's not many people that can admit that... Um, Sometimes narcissism can play a key factor in all that. But, you know, when this therapist put the mirror, I mean, metaphorical mirror in front of me and said, take a, basically take a look, and I'm kind of paraphrasing here. And I looked, I didn't like what I saw. I've become a very bitter, angry individual that's let a lot of things in me become misdirected. And recently, and I told him the truth that, you know, I've been burying myself in the bottle more and more and more that, you know, this is as low as it gets, you know, and um, it's very difficult to say a thing like that. You know, if you, if you were to, you know, know me and you see like the life I have, you know, Robin Williams, you know, he said, you can have everything in the world and still not be happy. You can have all the material possession and money, but you still won't be happy. But he was Robin Williams, you know. I'm just a regular nobody. You know, after I lost my career, it's been very difficult to find myself again. At least, hopefully, with this small business that I'm trying to run, that I can finally find myself again and find who I really am and not this thing that I become, you know, and, you know, I, 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 I was looking at some photos of myself, you know, uh, recently and almost every one of them has a beer can in my hand or a beer bottle or something, you know, and all of that anger and resentment and self-loathing and self-hating and anger and resentment. I've had enough of feeling like this. I've, I've just had enough. You know, I said this in a previous video where it's like, you know, when I turn, turn on my TV and I see what's going on. Like recently I saw on Fox News, like, a school threw out a little boy for talking about the or mentioning what the Pledge of Allegiance was about in some school project. They threw him out of school. A little, a little boy, a young man. This world is just so backwards and upside down. Like, you know, I just want to talk about sports cards and transformers and toys and sneakers and. But there are people that are out there that are so vicious and so cruel and so mean that just I just want no part of it. I just want to live my life in peace. I want to live my life in serenity. I want to live my life in calm. I want to be able to go out and just breathe the fresh air. 
And for the love of God, I just want to be left alone. And all the things that I talked about today with, with this therapist, it's just the beginning. Let me tell you, I've never dove this deep into myself like what I did today. And um, it's hard. It's very hard. I kind of feel like I've been backed into a corner a little bit. And there were so many things that I've kept inside that I just let out that uh, I kind of feel lost right now. I really feel lost. I want to be the old me. I want to be the me who I used to be, not this guy that I've created. I, I, I've learned after today that I don't like this guy that I've turned into. You know, I mean, I, I've tried little by little to mold myself into something different obviously you're looking at the work table that i talked to you guys about you guys helped me build this you know i could break all this down and stick it underneath my couch and but you know i could sit outside or i can sit here i should say excuse me and open up my window and look outside and actually work in peace this is this is the life i want right here this is me This is me. I like this me. I feel useful again. I feel like when I make my videos, showing off sports cards to you guys and promoting the business, I feel good. I feel useful again. And there are days, believe it or not, since I got this table, I'll be here all day long and just lose myself. I um but I can tell you right now the place that I'm in right now emotionally um especially with some of the things that I discussed with my therapist today for the first time it was um revealing I'll leave it at that I didn't realize how much anger I had built up inside me until today. There are people that are out there that want to fight all sorts of battles and all sorts of fights, political, spiritual, social, economic. The only thing that I want to battle is my hunger when I wake up in the morning to have breakfast. very difficult folks some of you left messages in my comment section you know saying that you got family members that went through the same thing that I'm going through right now some of you have mentioned that you've gone through it yourself you know and right now I'm going to be honest with all of you I'm literally trying to save myself it's a very difficult thing for a man like me who has so much pride to say but I'm trying to save myself. I just want to go back to being the ordinary guy that I was. A fun-loving, happy, fun-loving guy. Who um, could just sit in a chair and stare into the clouds and be completely content. And somewhere down the line, I've lost that ability. And I don't know where I lost it. And that's the big question I'm facing right now. Where did I go wrong? You know? Clearly, the answer is not at the bottom of a beer can. On the bottom of a bottle. So, um, next week, you know, I'm going to talk to this therapist again. And... Um, 
find an outpatient to really deal with this. It's very hard for me. I just want to be in peace. I want to feel peace. I want to feel serenity. I want to feel calm. And hearing myself saying some of the things that I said to this therapist today just has left left me with more questions and answers, to be honest with you. And that... I just want to talk about baseball cards and toys, man. And somewhere down the line, I, I failed myself, you know. Somewhere down the line, I let myself go. And um, that, that much is clear. I've let myself go. I'm not proud of myself. I'm not happy. Um, clearly, I have to fix this. And um, for right now, that's where I'm at. I didn't think I had all of this stuff going on with me. And now that the cat's out of the bag with, with, with the therapist I talked to today, um, I don't know what to think. But like I said, today's only the beginning. That today, that, that, that this was the, the first step is always the hardest step because like, you know, it's not often I have to swallow my own pride And um, figure out where I went wrong. But clearly I went wrong somewhere. Now I have to undo that. But anyway, thank you for taking the time to uh, listen to this. Um, I do have a video that I made last night that I have to, you know edit and all that stuff I ended up buying three boxes of top series too and it was just a milkshake a mishmash of inserts which is just crazy but you know I'll put that video together I'm not going to do it tonight I, I kind of need some time to myself right now to, to contemplate and think about where um, this first step I took today is going to lead me and I can tell you it's not going to be easy I'll probably give some updates throughout my videos, or maybe I'll make separate videos like this, but um, clearly um, I really need to really need to rethink a lot of things. I'm glad that at least my family and myself, my immediate family have come together. I'm very happy after many years and not speaking to my baby sister that we finally are talking again. Um, I told you, this is, you know, it's not easy, man. I'm done with all this. I'm done with all of it, with all the, all the negativity. Sick of it. Sick of it. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll put that video together for you guys. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to review here on the channel. Cards, toys. Um, props that were used in movies and stuff that I, I just picked up recently. But uh, for the rest of tonight, I'm just going to take some time to myself and relax and think. And um, I just need time, like, you know, to myself. But uh, I will be making more content as the days go on, but... Um, This was a huge, 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 very difficult step I made for myself. Anyway, thank you everyone for taking the time to watch this video. It, this is not easy for me. Um, I'm sure there are some of you that are out there that have family that, are, that go through this sort of thing, or maybe you've gone through it yourself, but I appreciate the support. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you soon.